My name is Christy Esparza, and I'm the program manager here at the uh, Markola Center's Character Education Program. But prior to beginning my position here, I was actually the manager of visual arts for the DC public school system. And before that, I managed school and teacher programs for the Smithsonian's Hirschhorn Museum. So for the next few minutes, I'm going to share some ideas with you about the value of arts integration as a pedagogical tool for teaching kindness and empathy across content areas that are drawn from my experiences with teachers at DCPS and the Hirschhorn. I found that the arts can be a powerful way to connect with students and to bridge concepts such as kindness and empathy across disciplines. So uh, before we go forward, it's important to distinguish between art education and arts integration. So this is a definition of arts integration um, that was offered by Lynn Silverstein and Sean Lane from the Kennedy Center. It says, arts integration is an approach to teaching in which students construct and demonstrate understanding through an art form. Students engage in a creative process which connects an art form and another subject area and it meets evolving objectives of both. And that idea of the evolving objectives of both is essential to arts integration. It's not just art education or another content area, but it's genuine to both. So the first example that I'm going to show is a program that was called Everyday DC that uh, we at DCPS uh, developed in collaboration with the Pulitzer Center on Crisis Reporting. Um, this program was inspired by an Everyday Africa Instagram feed um, and it was aimed to teach media literacy that raises awareness of the subjectivity involved in photojournalism. So after studying media portrayals of DC, and in some cases students own neighborhoods and schools, students were asked to question whether or not that coverage was representative of their lived experiences. So the photos that you're seeing now um, are, the, are from the culminating exhibition, which featured over 120 photographs from 12 middle schools across Washington, DC. The exhibition allowed students to come together and see how their perspectives on life in DC compared with those of their peers across the city and how student representations of their communities related to the media narratives that they had seen. The goals of this unit were for students to develop the skills they needed to be both savvy producers and consumers of media, while also building empathy by bringing the students' visual narratives together and allowing them to focus on their commonalities rather than their differences. Now, this is a very different example of how arts integration can provide a tool for helping students build empathy, not with each other, but also um, connecting students and teachers in new ways. So in a common math or geometry lesson, it's challenging for teachers to demonstrate learning alongside their students. However, by bringing in the arts, you can have a novel perspective that allows teachers to have an opportunity to, for students to see them as co-creators. Um, these are photos from a program that was called the DCPS Build Day. The unit that um, this program exemplified um, was for grades K to two, where they were students were asked to imagine and build a city of their dreams through curriculum developed in collaboration with the National Building Museum. Um, after doing the project in class, one school from each of DC's eight wards was invited to the Building Museum so that all students from all over the city could work together to collaboratively build a large scale model of their dream city. Teams of students were assigned a building use permit and then they had the opportunity to uh, construct excuse me, their unique building with the help of teachers and volunteer architects. Teachers had so much fun collaborating and making structures with their students and many reported back that the students that day looked at them as rock stars and told all their friends about it. Um, these types of experiences can provide a foundation for student and teacher connections that can in turn contribute to a kind and positive classroom culture. Uh, finally, um, is one of my favorite projects in which an elementary school uh, seniors, quote unquote seniors, they were fifth graders, were paired with people from the neighborhood senior center to create portraits that conveyed what they had learned together over several meetings. It was beautiful to see the connections that were made between the pairs over time, which was also supported with a great deal of planning and preparation on the part of their teachers, who carefully structured the lesson to include icebreakers and get to know you mad libs that helped each pair connect. In the end, both the children and the seniors clearly forged true connections and were so proud to show their works which were displayed at a neighborhood art center.
This particular unit was not designed with arts integration in mind, but it could be adapted to deepen learning in other content areas such as ELA or social studies. So how does this connect with our work in character education? As mentioned earlier in the webinar, we recognize that incorporating pedagogical strategies such as arts integration into our mapping and activity sections can provide really engaging ideas for deepening student learning. So shown here are two examples from a new 90 minute lesson on RJ Palacio's um, popular young adult novel, Wonder. Um, that incorporates the visual arts in order to focus students on that concept of empathy. So the masking example that you see here follows a section in the book that ends with the main character's first Halloween at school. In this particular exercise, students are challenged to create a mask of their alter ego. By defining what they feel they are not, teachers can gain insight into what students actually think of themselves. The process of sharing these insights can help teachers connect with their students and help students uh, build empathy with each other. The other example that you see follows the character Via's perspective and considers the internal voice that many of us keep from the outside world. Students are asked to write down a private thought, wrap it in fabric, and present it to the class. And by recognizing that each student has their own private thoughts, dreams, or struggles can help the class build empathy with the novel's characters and with each other. So most of the previous examples focus on the visual arts because that was my per, uh, particular professional focus area, but obviously arts integration is not just limited to the visual arts. Um, students often respond very positively to lessons that incorporate music, which is something that many of us have a personal response and connection to, particularly during adolescence. Arts integration with music might include one particular example from a CBL lesson on A Wrinkle in Time, in which students work together on rhythmic exercises to help students feel how the character it harnesses power. I also know of a simple activity in which teachers can build connections and community through music by asking their new students to create and share a self-portrait playlist, which can also act as a basis for a class playlist that can be played. And finally, digital media can also be used to bring stories to life through the creative incorporation of technology. At the Hirshhorn, I supported teachers in using animation to help students display their interpretation of a story or even create alternative endings. Animation can be a wonderful tool because it can visually represent anything the students can imagine. I've also enjoyed working with ELA and social studies teachers to facilitate Foley workshops in which students change the tone of a movie scene by recreating the scene sounds from script reading to music. I, I vividly remember our team leading a Foley workshop for a class that was reading far below grade level. The students shocked the teachers with their engagement as they read and practiced through their scripts over and over again, trying to internalize each other's lines.